Hi, my name is Bruno Silva. I'm one of the dentists at Brighton Implant Clinic. So why is bone so important when considering having a dental implant? Imagine if you're in the situation whereby your dentist has told you that you have a failing tooth or a problem tooth and you've been uh, advised, recommended that an implant is the best um, outcome or the best uh, treatment for your missing tooth. Now in order to place that implant, your dentist needs to be sure of how much and also what type of bone you have so that the implant can be placed securely, um, safely and also to ensure that the implant is stable for predictable, straightforward uh, cases where patients have bone, dental implants are very successful, they work very, very well. However, if there isn't enough bone or if the bone is of particular quality that's very soft and it's not dense, then dental implant treatment can take longer, it can be more unpredictable, each case is unique. And some patients, irrespective of the age, they might have good amounts of bone in the upper jaw, but limited amounts in the lower jaw, and that could be vice versa. Now this can pose a problem to the dentist because if you don't physically have enough bone in the area where you need an implant, you will have either an outcome of an implant's not possible, or you'll have to consider additional surgical procedures like bone grafting. Um, whilst these additional surgical procedures are an option and an alternative, we always try to keep surgery as simple and as predictable as possible. It's very important that your dentist discusses with you the merits, the advantages of having bone grafting because uh, you may not be aware of what the procedures involve, what the potential success rate of those procedures are and also the time scale of how, this, how long a bone grafting procedure could take. Now, this is quite important because each patient has a, a specific and unique case. Um, it's difficult when you have a patient that will come to us and they'll say, oh, but um, I've been to see um, another dentist and the dentist, uh, he hasn't uh, taken any x-rays or CT scans and they've said that I'm suitable for an implant. But in reality, it's a very, very detailed, it's a very thorough process of actually being sure or being able to tell someone, yes, you have enough space and you have good amounts of bone and of good quality for an implant to be placed. Also, people will compare their, their case to somebody else's case. For example, they will say, well, my friend from work has been to a different clinic um, and it's taken a much shorter space of time. And Whilst, yes, that is sometimes possible, it all depends on how much bone and what we have to start off with. So my advice is really to you know, have a thorough assessment with your dentist to ensure exactly how much bone, the volume of bone, the quality of bone to ensure that an implant can be placed. So very important to summarize is if you're having a dental implant, make sure that you discuss with your dentist how much bone you have and how predictable the treatment is likely to be. Make sure that you also understand what's involved with bone grafting, how many appointments, what the time scales are and the likely success of that treatment. If you do have any questions please feel free to uh, post any comments below or you can email us directly at the clinic. Um, our website address is www.brightonimplantclinic.co.uk. Many thanks.